How do you create a labor plan? Traveler. In CTEC ERP. First, locate the bomb for which you want to create the labor plan. The quickest way is to start typing the part number into the global search field. And then select the part number from the drop down list. Once on the part screen, click Revisions. Click Labor Plan. To add a work location, choose it from this drop down menu. Then click Add. Now that you have a work location set, it's time to add an operation that will occur at this location. Click the pencil icon to edit this location. Choose an operation from the drop down list. Click Add. If this operation is a setup step that only occurs once, regardless of the quantity being built, and should only be counted once in your labor estimates. Select Yes next to Setup. To confirm this change, click Set. To add another operation, choose it from the list. And click Add. You can add work instructions to an operation here. If this operation requires parts to be picked, check this box. If you want to require a signature before work can move past this step, click here. Click Update to save your work. Now that we've finished adding operations to our first work location, we'll add a new location. To add operations to our second location, we'll click the pencil and select an operation from the list. Then click Add. We'll add instructions to this operation and click Update to save our changes. Then we'll add a second set of instructions. Then we'll repeat the process for our third set of instructions on this operation. Let's say this operation needs to happen multiple times. To make sure we accurately communicate the build process and correctly calculate labor, let's add the number of repetitions for this operation here. To confirm this change, we click Set. Now let's add our last work location to this bomb revision. We added the location but then realized we'd added it by mistake. So we click remove to delete that work location. Let's try that again. We have the correct work location now. We just need to add the operation that occurs there. We've realized we made one other mistake on this labor plan. We need to delete an operation from within the first work location. How do we do this? We click the pencil icon on that location to edit its information. 
Then we find the operation we need to delete. We check here. Then click set. We now have a time estimate for our labor plan. This includes one time setup time and recurring time, which will be multiplied by the quantity of parts being built. By default, the total labor estimate will be calculated using the fields we just looked at, which are specific to each revision of the labor plan. However, if we want to set one fixed global labor estimate to be used for this bomb, regardless of the revision being used, we can enter a value in minutes here. Choose use total labor estimate from this drop-down list. And click update. And that's it. Congratulations. You now know how to create a labor plan, traveler, in CTEC ERP.